The Hipster This is a hipster. He is childless, unaccountably wealthy, and always well turned out. He likes art, porridge, scarves, and anything reclaimed from French factories, like this dog rack. Ginger has opened up a pop-up trifle bistro in an old spitfire. Every Friday, he DJs in a club where all the furniture has been burned deliberately. His favourite band today is Robofolk duo My Dead Esther Hazzy. Hipsters like to collect old things that are unfashionable because that makes them fashionable. Vintage washing up bowls are highly prized because they look neither retro nor valuable and are there for both. Café A in Brighton is a popular spot for hipsters. The owner guarantees that his customers will never have heard of anything on the menu. Things like Dotka, Commoner's Milk, Black Knop and Carnip Tartone, Keyhole Coffee and these freshly oven balched <laughs> Beet Corn Labneys. <laughs> Petter runs a microstove from the basement of a condemned electricity substation. Here he makes craft gin infused with sausage and toothpaste. Petter is available as an app. Hipsters like art. This sculpture called All the Dances I Have Ever Danced and in the order I danced them sold for over eleven million pounds at a bespoke car boot art fair. It is made of sock. <laughs> Nevin is a non-linear campaign provocateur for a brand with Trendship Engagement Agency. Like most hipsters, he has no office and carries his modified electric typewriter from coffee shop to coffee shop on his motorised unicycle. He dresses like this all the time. Hipsters think plates are very old-fashioned. They prefer to eat from planks, tiles and first-generation iPads. This tofu self-identifying cross-species is being served on a spring-loaded folder that contains the script of a short film about a skateboarding shoelace designer. This is weird. Coffee is the hipster's favourite drink. These dry espressos are made with baby scallions and chia roots and cost over £8 per cup. They contain no water. This is a poster for an event combining scratch cinema and a live performance by the East London Clapping Orchestra. If you look carefully at it, you can see none of the details. At Hipster Cocktail Kitchen, <laughs> H2O, all the drinks are made with nothing but water. Here, two mixographers are preparing a Coldplay's next album. A cocktail made with 14 different sorts of water. The most highly prized water is Japanese Fen Tears. Fu is an action poet. She narrowcasts what she calls political demo biography using vintage technology. To make it more difficult to find and enjoy her work, she records each performance onto pre-used Betamax cassettes and leaves them in charity shops labelled with the names of unpopular ITV sitcoms on the spine in Dymo tape. Hipsters like to find places that have not yet been spoiled by the mainstream culture, like the sea. This upcycled boring tower is now the third hippest community in Europe. It has its own calendar, two years ahead of ours. Tiswos has bought the insides <laughs> this was, <clears throat> has bought the insides of a lighthouse off eBay. He's installing it in his second hand shootique, which he hopes will make an important point. Hipsters like to go clubbing. At this club no one dances, but everyone has a shower. There are six different flavours of shower, including bouillon, verbena tea and miso soup. The floor is coated with smoked glass so everyone can admire their underneaths.
Jed's job is to be written about in magazines. Here he is making a vintage chocolate car, so he can be photographed making a vintage chocolate car. He will eventually put it up for sale on a website whose address will not work. Hipsters are always on the lookout for new beards. These hipsters have travelled to the Arctic Circle to photograph Norwegian fishermen's beards. One of them is weighing his tag into the snow. Nina likes to wear hats made of forklift tyres and coloured balls. This one was designed especially for her by her friend Grace and Perry, who lives in the boat above hers. What hipsters like best about their favourite music is that nobody really likes it. This band is currently called Donkey at Kong. They improvise ironic tronica based on 1990s weather forecasts using school instruments in hindsight. If anyone applauds, they split up and reform the venue next door with a new name. Oh, there's that guide again. Since opening two years ago, So Ho has become an essential stop on the drop-in sewing scene. Each machine is fitted with a USB port so the ladies can bring their own downloaded thread. Hipsters like to keep fit. Among their preferred exercise routines are yoga aquatics, jitterbugging and going upside down. These two men go upside down in special pyjamas you can only buy from a company in Mexico. At this macro manufactory, Ned the Third and his friends make soup cannons. Hipsters like to cook using cannons because it takes so very, very long. This is also why they slow toast their bread with hair dryers. Ned the Third has eleven phones. Hipsters like body art. Zora has found this picture he drew as a child. He's going to have it tattooed onto his dog. It is important to the hipster that things look like other things. Half of these things are hats. The others are small batch artisan savoury pastries. Can you tell which is which? The end. Don't forget to like and subscribe and press the wee bell notification. And a huge big thank you to all my subscribers and patrons. See you next week. Bye bye.